everyone, thank you for joining us um, in our new video here. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over the old foyer and what the new foyer looks like now. As you remember, um, there was a leak from the roof which caused um, the foyer to look like this. So that was water damage. Uh, it got moldy, it got nasty, and as you recall, I demoed that a while ago. So we kind of just left it after we had focus on the master bedroom. But now that the master bedroom is done, we can now focus on uh, this section of the house. So step one of fixing the foyer was to go fix the leak. So this is my husband on the roof of the trailer. So what we did was we decluttered all of the leaves that was in the gutter. Um, there had to be uh, piles of old leaves that were just sitting in the gutter, which made uh, water, when it would rain really hard, the water would actually flow the other way to the seam where the attachment was. So once we were able to declutter the gutter, and clean it up, we were able to fix the seam uh, with caulk and foam to make sure that the water uh, wouldn't be flowing to that seam uh, where the foyer was. So relatively an easy fix, um, but it was just more so of assessing where it was coming from and what we needed to do. Um, but we got all that cleaned out. We got that leak fixed. So now we're on to step two, which is the floor. So in this section, because of the rain and where it was, the leak was happening, um, it damaged the floor. So we wanted to make sure that we get that part of the floorboard out and replace it with a new board so that it's more sturdy and, uh, you know, no one falls through the floor. So <clears throat> this was definitely um, a good decision to focus on the foyer um, because I didn't feel so safe walking uh, through that foyer so I'm glad we were able to do that um, and a little side note um, while you're watching him uh, cut a hole in the floor here um, the focus was just to do the foyer and then move on to the living room and kitchen however we came um, with another issue which was the washer and dryer if we were gonna fix the foyer, we would drywall, you know, mud, spackle, paint, all of that. However, if you could see behind him there, the washer and dryer and the wall is a very tight fit. So what we had to do was make the joist thinner so that we could fit drywall in between the washer and dryer. Um, so with doing that, or in order to do that, we had to go ahead and dem demo that second bedroom. So now the focus after the foyer is going to be that second bedroom slash office. So sorry guys, but living room and kitchen is on hold until we get this done. Um, but I'm hoping that that second bedroom isn't going to take as long as the master bedroom. So, um, you know, then we can move on to that living room and kitchen like uh, we want to. But yeah, so he cut the hole and he measured the new board. And you can see here too that he actually cut further than 
where the um, floor was damaged and that is because he needs the joist to actually nail the new floor in which means you would have to cut a little bigger piece um, to make sure that you're going to be able to nail um, through the old um, joist all right so you can see it's a little lifted up so we got to make sure that we get it in there tight um, so what you'll actually see him do is kind of like give it a little kick with a hammer here just to make sure we get that piece in and it's tight and it's good and it's sturdy there you go so what you want is a nice tight fit before you start screwing and nailing um, your new board down. So I'm really happy that we were able to do that. So step three with this foyer was to put a new board where the attachment was. That old board um, just wouldn't do. In the long run, uh, it would rot. It would fall apart. And most likely, maybe your roof would just cave in. Um, you never know. So it was best for us to go ahead and cut that out and put a new one. And uh, you'll actually be able to see what, uh, what that looks like with the new board because we actually also attached brackets uh, from the new board to the joist that's up there on the ceiling, which made it a lot more sturdy, a lot more secure, um, and we didn't have to worry about the roof caving in or anything falling through. So there goes the old nasty attachment there. So all of that had to come out. And with this also, we had to also take, um, you could see the, the metal that's kind of like um, in between the foyer and the hallway, the attachment. We wanted to take that out as well. And there's a lot of reasons to take that out. One, it would have made it made uh, sense because the old, the way that they had it before made the ceiling feel really low. Um, I'm not really sure why they did it that way. Uh, when they put the attachment there, it really made it looked like there was two separate houses. So we wanted to make sure that this foyer and the hallway looked more seamless. So we actually cut that tin out and put the new wood higher so that it would look seamless when you walked in. And you actually see in like other videos that I'll show you guys later um, how different uh, the original trailer was compared to the attachment because the attachment was a lot newer and not that much newer I would say like the 90s and then the old attachment uh, the old trailer was made in the 60s and you could definitely tell um, you know, how they made it in the 60s and how they made it in the 90s. Um, so you can see here in this frame, he's taken out that metal. Like I was saying, um, it just made the ceiling look really low. So I don't even know why they did that. But I'm, like I said, I'm excited uh, that we were able to do this uh, first 
versus jumping into that living room and kitchen um, because it rains a lot where we're at so um, the last thing you want is to deal with that leak and then dealing with the floorboard um, actually sinking in while you're walking on it which is not a good thing So that's him taking out the rest of the metal. Um, and we also actually did, uh, and you'll see that in a, in a couple of minutes here, we are actually also put a new frame around the foyer so that it was more sturdy. Because not only the top board was weak and brittle, uh, but also the side of the frame. So we put a new board there as well. And then you also see the floor too. You'll see that in a couple minutes as well. Um, it was really weird. They put like linoleum down onto the floor to make it look like it was seamless. However, when you walked on the floor, you could feel like there was a little step or a little hump. So we took that out and you'll see that in a couple minutes. We took that out as well because what we plan to do is actually make a little step which makes more sense to me and we'll actually do that when we finish up this foyer so you can see this is the new board uh, it looks good we put the brackets up there too to make sure it's sturdy it's not going anywhere looks nice and clean and safe and there's the frame that I was talking about we put a new board there um, and that was a suggestion by my husband. He was like, you know, there's no way we're going to put that new board up there and not have the frame be sturdy, too. Uh, there's that little step I was talking about. Um, you could see. So the attachment was lower, so which was really weird. But that's what we got for you today. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.